Two Firefox forks walk into 2025 promising privacy and freedom from Chromium. One's got ARC-inspired looks and zero data collection. The other's a Japanese student project with dual sidebars. So which one deserves space on your taskbar? Both browsers nuked Firefox's telemetry completely. Zen's privacy policy starts with what they don't collect. Florp was built by Japanese students with zero incentive to harvest data. Nearly identical on privacy, though Zen dropped external connections from 82 to 20. Here's where it gets spicy. <laughs> Zen launched specifically to fill the arc-shaped hole in people's hearts. Vertical tabs, split views, workspaces, something called Zen Glance that previews links without opening new tabs. Florp counters with dual sidebars, meaning two sidebar panels open simultaneously, plus five switchable UI themes and tree-style tab support. Performance tells a wild story. One MacBook M3 Pro benchmark showed Zen scoring low than vanilla Firefox, likely from UI overhead. Florp hit 55% faster than Firefox on certain tests. But both have users reporting brutal CPU spikes. Zen hit 66% CPU just watching YouTube shorts. Florp users experience CPU jumping to 170% with certain extensions. Now the absolute deal breaker. Zen browser cannot play Netflix, Disney+, HBO Max, Spotify, Amazon Prime, or any DRM-protected content. The Widevine license costs $5,000 annually and requires corporate structure. The solo developer can't afford it. Florp has full DRM support because they maintained Firefox's existing licensing. If you stream Anything, Zen is immediately eliminated. Customization is essentially tied. Zen offers Zen mods for community-driven modifications. Florp matches with extensive themes, CSS modifications, and flexible toolbars. Both support all Firefox extensions. Resource usage shows Florp consuming less than Chrome, but more than vanilla Firefox. Zen varies wildly based on user reports. The maturity gap matters. Florp updates every four weeks with a larger community. Zen is still in beta with one developer, meaning faster features but occasional bugs. Recent updates broke tab closing requiring full restarts. Both are completely free and open source. No subscriptions, no AI garbage, just passion projects proving Firefox can compete. The verdict? If you stream literally anything, Florp wins by default. Zen's DRM limitation is a non-starter for most humans. If you only use YouTube and free content, Zen offers more modern design with stronger privacy. But for 99% of people, Florp is the smarter choice in 2025. It's stable, supports everything, performs well, and delivers privacy without crippling your streaming habit. If this saved you from browser commitment issues, subscribe. I investigate whether hyped tech delivers or just burns venture capital faster than common sense. Hey, Mark here. So look, I spend a lot of time investigating these products, and honestly, I'd rather not fill this channel with sponsored content from companies whose products I might end up roasting next week. That would be <laughs> awkward. If this review helped you out, saved you from wasting money, or maybe helped you find something that's actually worth buying, here are a few ways you can support what we're doing here. First up, I've put the link to this specific product down in the description. If you want to check the current price or read more reviews, click through there. And if you do buy through my link, they toss me a few pennies without charging you extra. Win-win. Second option, and this one's for all you regular Amazon shoppers, there's another link down there that just goes to Amazon's homepage. Bookmark it, use it whenever you shop. Doesn't matter if you're buying this product or just restocking on toilet paper. Using that link means a tiny portion of what you're already spending helps fund these investigations. And trust me, Jeff Bezos won't even notice it's missing. <laughs> it's the easiest way to support the channel without spending extra money. Now the third option is for those of you who need help right now. Like, you've got a product sitting in your cart and you're thinking, is this thing legit or am I about to waste my money? That's what our membership is for. 
Think of it like hiring me as your private BS investigator. For as low as three bucks a month, you submit products for urgent investigation, I do the deep dive and deliver a personalized review to your inbox in 24 to 72 hours, depending on your tier. It's basically like having me on speed dial for product research. Except, instead of calling, you just send me the sketchy product and I'll tell you if it's worth your money or complete garbage. Alright, that's it. Keep questioning everything, and I'll see you in the next investigation, where we figure out what's actually worth your money and what's just expensive garbage with good marketing. Stay savage out there. Catch you next time.